<laughs> so all those years ago, when you first came here and you barely spoke English, and we told you then this would have happened, what would you have said? Oh, no, actually, I, when I came here in 86, I said, one day I'm going to have a statue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. In front of Staples Center. Yeah, exactly, in front of Staples Center, I called it. Yeah, now. they said, uh -huh. Staples, what's that? You'll see. <laughs> Visionary. No, I, you know, like I said before, whether it was getting in the Hall of Fame or Jersey retirement or even playing, I was just a kid playing a game. You know, I loved it, and, you know, it, it was like I gave everything I had every day, and... Uh, you know, everything that's happened to me since, I just feel blessed. Did you have to pose for the sculptor, or did they take pictures no, of you, or how did it work? Is, this is, Dan Beckerman asked me, he goes, what do you want to do? And, and Mike Altieri then, and I said, I don't want to see it. I don't want to know. You guys do it, and I'll see when it comes out. I said, just do me one favor, show it to my wife. If my wife agrees with it, I go, I know it's all good. <laughs> so so they, they worked, they worked, you know, they showed it to her a couple times, and at one point she told me, yeah, hey, that's pretty cool. So she's happy. I figured I was all good. <laughs> make sure it's not in a Detroit uniform right now. No, no, it won't be. Okay, no, are you check. kidding me? <laughs> so you still haven't seen it? I haven't seen it, no. So it's kind of neat. It's going to be uh, pretty special just to... You know, see it come out. Be the, it would really, truly be the first time. Yeah. So, as the president of business operations, did you have to approve the expense for this? <laughs> I didn't sculpt the face, but I sculpted everything else. Even though, <laughs> no, 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 this is an AG expense. That one goes on Dan's side. Okay. <laughs> How emotional do you think you'll be? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of funny. Uh, last week, someone asked me about it. I was doing a radio interview and. Uh, and it was truly one of the first time I really thought about it, like in a way where like they say, hey, you know, next week is, I'm like, huh, I hadn't really thought about that. Because, you know, you go about your life every day and you're doing different things. So I, I don't know. I mean, I think it's, 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 it's special. It's, it's, you know, I mean, I was, someone asked me this morning, I said, I was 13 years old. I remember 1979, had a picture of Wayne Gretzky in my room, and I was watching him. Every time I could see Edmonton, I had to watch Gretzky. And and then, you know, now there's, there's a Gretzky, a statue, and it's Gretzky of me. It's kind of weird, but it certainly is uh, humbling and very special. Which members of your family will be here for it? My dad came down, my brother, my sister, and everybody's here. So okay. it's going to be nice. The whole family's here. They, uh, came down today and last night so it's going to be pretty neat. Did they put you on uh, your statue on Gretzky's left or uh, do you know well, where it is? <laughs> well, I know Kelly Cheeseman showed me about where it was going to go and uh, but he called me today and he says I wasn't allowed to look anywhere near near it. So I made sure I went around when I walked inside. <laughs> is it pretty amazing to think not just Wayne but uh, Magic and Kareem and yeah, I mean, you know, those those names are legendary. I mean, you know, I think Jerry West. I mean, it's all those guys. I mean, it's uh, they're they're worldwide known athletes, and they're very very special people. And what they meant to this city is truly incredible. So to be there amongst that group, it's it's kind of hard to describe the feeling. I mean, it's uh, it's. Um, I don't even know what to say, except that it's very humbling. But it's yeah. not like you've retired. I mean, you're still active as a business executive. Yeah, too. that's right. So there's yeah, still it's things like I'm that, dead. You know, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, there's still things left for you to accomplish. Yeah, there's a lot more to accomplish. I mean, uh, we love what we've done here with the Kings. Uh, we got a lot more to give. I think as an organization, we got a lot more to accomplish. And, uh, you know, we uh, I love, like, the, the feeling that people, when they talk about the Kings and the passion of our fans and now that players want to play here and uh, the uh, the first class organization that slowly but surely will be coming to me it's uh, it's uh, it's it's an amazing feeling right now and it's something we're going to keep pushing for many many more years did you get any calls from uh, ex teammates or anything ribbing you and just having fun with you on it's this? a new world though it's all text now right? no one talks <laughs> to anybody true. i got a bunch of texts <laughs> i told him it was actually a sculpture of david like a copy of <laughs> <laughs> But it's uh, you know, a bunch of guys just are texting me. It's pretty neat. Does it mean even more knowing that it's not just about you, the player, but that you are in this position still in the front office with the Kings and do everything? Uh, I don't know. You know, I just uh, I love to play the game. I, I love the Kings. I love to work with the Kings for the Kings. And uh, like I said before, I love what we've accomplished. What The way we've turned this franchise around as a group, you know, 
uh, everything that we're doing, you know, we're not perfect, but we're trying to be perfect, and that's, to me, that's what makes it a lot of fun to be part of that special group. Do you, know, do you only think that uh, if you could have been part of one of those cup winners here, though, as a player, would that could have been, I mean, so um, close that time as well? Well, in 92, 93, I really, I really thought we'd be right back the next year, and it's kind of funny, how, that's how hard it is to win a cup, and... Uh, you know, we never, we didn't even make the playoffs. I think for seven, eight years after that, and uh, and it's, uh, I think it was five or six, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, you know, it's special as a player, and I'm glad I got to win as a player because I feel like what I learned when I won, I was able to even bring it in the front office, and uh, to have my name on the cup twice as a king is just as special as if I would have been a player at this point because it's. Uh, well, like I said, I think the fact that I, I learned what it took when I was a player, you have to know what it takes, you know, to really know how to become a real champion. And, uh, you know, I take those uh, those values and the lesson I learned, whether when I was in New York or even for a short time in Pittsburgh and <clears throat> certainly in Detroit, and I take a lot of pride in the fact that we're building our organization and we're getting those top organization now. You didn't hear all <clears throat> here, but did you know pretty early on that this would be home? second home? Uh, I didn't know, but I uh, certainly liked it when I showed up. I'm like, this is great, <laughs> especially in January. <laughs> I so loved it there. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and I just, uh, it certainly, uh, you know, it was, I, li I liked it a lot and I really felt this was the place that I, I wanted to make a difference. You know, I, I, I remember when I went to my team in junior, when I got there the first time, I'd never been in that city, and I, I want to make a difference there. And then coming here, I felt the same, and I'm sh sure glad I was part of this history. Luke, you this a couple years ago. You said after the Jersey Retirement Hall of Fame, there wasn't going to be anything left to celebrate. I really thought it was done. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, you know, Dan Beckerman in the last year uh, asked me about it. I, I was, I was very, I was shocked. I was taken aback. Because anytime your CEO asks you, he wants to talk to you, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, you're like, you don't know what you've done wrong. Most of the time, <laughs> that's what you think first. And, and that, that's what he, uh, he mentioned uh, he wanted to, to talk about. So it was, uh, I, I didn't even know what to say at the time. But, but this is what I said to him. I said, you know me. I said, I'm all about the Kings. I just want the Kings to be relevant. So I said, we just need more hockey guys out there. So I said, whether it's me or another guy, as long as we have more hockey guys, I'm happy. But I said, oh, I'll take it Who if it's me. Next? Who should be next? I don't know yet, but you're not, you can't put me on a spot. We, i got to talk to Mike. <laughs> but, but I do believe that uh, there's room for a few more people. And uh, the Kings have been uh, so relevant. I mean, Staples Center wouldn't be here if it weren't for the Kings. And, um, you know, and uh, there's, a, there's a lot of people in the Kings organization that made a difference. So... Certainly, there'll be there'll more room for more Kings people, Kings players. <laughs> did, you, did you live with Marcel that whole first year you were here? Uh, he got traded, uh, I think, uh, a little bit before the deadline, and uh, he went to New York that year. But I lived with him uh, until then. What did he think about it? What did he think about this? Does he know about it? Uh, I haven't talked to him in a, in a few weeks. Uh, to tell you the truth, we haven't talked about that. So I should give him a call. <laughs> <laughs> <That's true. clears throat> he's uh he was so influential in my career he uh he was uh you know he was the guy that took me under his wing and showed me how to be professional so um, i will always be grateful for myself